Hello everyone, I'm Brother Zana David. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity. In case you're new, subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV, and follow me on other social media platform, Biblical Sexual Purity. I just want to share with us an experience of a lady who I discussed with and it made me feel so bad. Uh, what we are talking and I was telling her to keep herself and try to encourage her to live in sexual purity and have the fear of God in her. And she told me something that made me feel so, so bad. She told me as we were discussing, she made a statement. She said, I can never, ever marry a pastor in my life. So I try to know, at least majority pastors, they are known for uh, decency. A lot of people want to get married to pastors. So I asked her, why do you have to say that even with this level of seriousness? She told me, uh, I have had so many bitter experiences with many pastors. And she told me, I tried to know more. She told me that so many pastors have tried to sleep with her. Uh, this lady, actually, she's beautiful, but I don't think it is not a reason for a man of God to humiliate himself and reduce himself to a level of... Uh, committing adultery or fornication as this case may be now this lady has made up her mind that she will never get married to a pastor she made up her mind because even some of those she trusted disappointed her and some of those she was looking up to came close to her and she discovered that they were not what they said or what they look like in the uh, in a distance so what I'm trying to say is that you as a lady please don't just carry yourself around and go to just any church you see around. There are so many people who are goats, but they claim to be pastors. There are wolves in sheep clothing. Uh, in fact, there was this uh, woman who, who were during a deliverance session. She told me that a man of God raped her. And she, they, the man of God never knew that she was a satanic agent. So she did some kind of things. I don't want to go into detail. She did some kind of things. And for so many years, she was still a girl that time. And so many years later, this man of God was promoted to a higher position uh, in the church, very high position, but he is still sterile today. No child, no child. And the woman was telling me, Today she's a woman, no longer a girl, not a lady anymore because it was many years ago. Talking about something of about over 20 years. So she told me that this man of God can never get married. What was the mistake of this man of God? She, he forced a lady that was a satanic agent and something happened. I don't want to go into the details. So if you are a Christian, know the kind of person you give yourself to. A lot of people have been raped. It is not only in the Catholic Church, Roman Catholic Church, that we have a lot of cases of sexual abuses. Though I know it is excess there. But some of these white garment churches and some of these one-man churches, if you go there, they many of them don't have the fear of God inside of them. And you are going there with a mind of a, a very innocent mind. And you just open your mind to them and give them 100% trust because you feel they are representing God. The Bible says that we should be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove. No matter who the person is, when it comes to protecting your uh, your your body which is the temple of the lord you don't need to over trust people i tell my daughters please don't over trust men oh they see almost every man i'm not saying every man see almost every man almost every man as a suspect so when you're going to mind the kind of place you go in if the place is not safe Please don't go in there. Even if man of God telling you to enter a room, we need to make such special prayers. Please respect yourself and respect the law of the Lord. You, if you take yourself to a place, if you trust people too much and you take your place to yourself to an unsafe place where you get raped or get uh, sexual abuse, uh, the Lord may not judge you for being forced. But he is going to question you why you decided to go to an unsafe place when you know that the place is unsafe. So please know the kind of place you people you expose yourself to in the name of God. I know of a brother who used to be very zealous with a sister in Christ and some sisters, they were 
very very close and i found i used to jealous admire i mean i used to admire their kind of friendship but it came to a time that we discovered that the lady was pregnant that one may not be uh, an intentional act but over time we are human beings you carry blood in your flesh even if you are a man of god know that you are men before you became of god you are not god of men you are men of god so you draw your limit mind your limit i'm not talking now i'm not talking to those who rape people but i'm talking about those who draw too close to opposite sex and even uh, pose themselves as temptations you no matter how anointed you are you are a human being and you should mind your limits with the opposite sex anybody if some kind of if you engage in some kind of closeness and you discover that your body will react to what to stimuli please withdraw yourself because a lot of times so many people fall and they fall not because they plan to fall but because they did it because they were carried away so wherever you find yourself always stay safe whether with a man of god whether with a brother whether with a sister please value your body and value the temple of the lord uh, these things come and we hear them we read about them uh, some videos got gets leaked and some scandals but you can prevent these things it's not just by praying but we should be as wise as a serpent know the kind of person you trust know who you expose yourself to know who you even if you are going for counseling and you are meeting a man of god know the some marriage issues some uh, sexual relationship issues if the place is not safe please or you are saying some kind of things you discover that the person is uncomfortable don't go into details just say it with light words not very deep description that will make the other person uncomfortable so you don't I'm, what I'm saying is that don't say things that we turn the other person on don't play some kind of play and even when you you as a minister of god and somebody comes to you saying some kind of things and you know that these things are not uh, well expressed but they have some kind of sexual connotation please redirect the person uh, some of these things are not intentional some uh, a lot of people go to cancel it because they want to make somebody to fall so let us be wise i'm just talking in generally so that you know how to keep yourself thank you and god bless you Visit my website, biblicalsexualpurity.com, and follow me on uh, social media platform, Biblical Sexual Purity. Subscribe to my YouTube channels, Iguayopuna and Hosanna David. Thank you. God bless you. Bye bye.